Hello everybody. So, in our first class I taught you the Spanish alphabet and here I'll teach you how to pronounce our letters in Spanish, okay? So I want to focus uh, on a few letters especially to give you a little bit of a background. So, for example, talking of letter Z or Z, okay? In Spanish it can be theta, okay? Theta like the English th sound, okay? th, like, uh, like in uh, thug, okay? Th th theta. This would be the Spanish pronunciation, I mean Spanish from Spain, okay? The European Spanish pronunciation, theta. However, in Latin America, and I'm speaking of all Latin America, theta would be pronounced theta, okay? So, in uh, Latin America, there is no such th sound, okay, like the English th, okay? So, it's always the th sound, the, the soft s sound. For, for every time you, you see letter uh, s, letter, letter z, and uh, often letter c, okay, it's never th, it's okay in Latin America in Spain this would be th. so it's just a matter of pronunciation right not too relevant okay the ñ sound ñ is a typical uh, Spanish letter how is it pronounced I know this uh, sound does not exist in English but uh, it does exist in Italian in Italian you produce the same sound with a GN, okay? Ñ, like in uh, like in gnocchi, okay? Gnocchi is a variety of pasta. Gnocchi, Italian, okay? So I know um, there are many Italian communities in, uh, in the United States, so maybe some of you are familiar with the ñ sound from Italian. Okay, the ñ is exactly the same as the ñ sound from Italian. ñ. If you cannot pronounce ñ, ñ, the ñ sound, the most similar thing would be ni sound, okay? Like this, for example. Instead of pronouncing ñ, if you're having a hard time with this, you can say enie, n i e, okay, enie, enie, e n i e. This is not exactly the right thing, but it's the most similar to the right thing, okay? Enie. Once you you manage to pronounce enie, you can try to pronounce enie, enie, okay? Good. Double L in Spanish. Double L has a unique pronunciation, okay? Double L is pronounced same as Y in Spanish, okay? Y is pronounced Y, Y, okay? It's also a pronunciation that does not exist in English. So, for example, the, the pronoun I in Spanish is yo, yo. How do you pronounce that Y? It's like if you were unsticking the back of your tongue from your upper palate. Yo, okay, yo. I know it's a, I often hear that uh, English speakers have a hard time pronouncing that, yo. So, if you cannot, most English speakers, they just pronounce it as a regular I. Yo, yo, which is not the real thing, but it is similar to the real thing, okay? So you cannot say yo, then you say simply yo, until you manage to make up this sound. Okay, double L, double L is pronounced exactly like the Y, yo. Be careful, the Y is pronounced exactly as an 
a Spanish I here always when it is at the end of a word, okay? So when, when the Y is followed in the same word by a vowel, it is pronounced like double L, G, G, okay? However, when it's at the end of the word, or standing alone, like the word end, which in Spanish is, a, a, is the word a Y, just one letter, there it's pronounced like an I, it's pronounced E, okay? Good. Now, in uh, many decades ago, or well, not so many, but some decades ago, there was another letter included in our alphabet, which was letter CH, okay? It was here. Now it has been removed officially from the alphabet, that's why I'm not mentioning it here. But CH, as a letter, was pronounced or read CH. CH. Why? Because CH has a unique and independent sound uh, different to C and to H. Therefore, for, for a long time, the Real Academia Española, the institute that officially uh, determines what is Spanish and what is not, had decided that letter Ch would be part of our alphabet after letter C. Okay? Letter H in Spanish is mute, and I mean totally mute, not like in, like in English where H is pronounced like a, like a soft exhalation, <sighs> right? In Spanish it is totally mute, with the only example of CH, right? There it is pronounced like in English, CH. X is X, X okay? Uh, w, letter W in Spanish and letter K here and letter K here are controversial letters from our alphabet because there is no uh, uh, original Spanish word with W or with K, okay? Therefore, some there is some controversy uh, saying that they should be removed from our alphabet. However, they are used for some Spanish, uh, better said, for some uh, foreign words that are incorporated into Spanish. Okay, so for example, the word kilogram, kilogramo, okay, is written with K. Kilometro from kilometer is written with K. Why? Because these are foreign uh, words coming from Greek, kilo. Kilo means a thousand in Greek, right? So, uh, to mark that it's a word that comes from another language, uh, the K has remained in the word, okay? Instead of using it, uh, using Q-U, right? We could, uh, we could Castilianize it using a Q. Where's the letter Q? Q and U replacing K. However, there is this uh, will to show that it's a word that comes from a different language, okay? And with W, whiskey, traditionally and still accepted with W, whiskey, because it's a foreign word. However, in the recent decades, it has also been accepted in a very Castilianized way that actually I hate, like this. Whiskey. Okay? Whiskey. It looks terrible. However, it's officially accepted, okay? A Castilianized way of speaking out and spelling whiskey, right? However, whiskey, the English uh, um, uh, spelling, is also okay and accepted in Spanish, right? Okay, so this is all for today's phonetic class. And in our third class, let's continue with some more tips and I want to teach you how each um, letter is pronounced in Spanish.
Thanks, and I'll see you in our next class. Goodbye.